to everyone. My name is Fina. You are welcome to Fina Talk. Let's talk about it. All right, without wasting much time, I would like to introduce to us the topic of today, and which is recreating your word. Recreating your word. Amazing topic. And also, I will be taking some uh, verses from the book recreating your word written by our man of God. So I'll be revealing some of the, uh, you know, captivating word our man of God have, you know, spoken to us through this book. So in case you have not gotten yours or you are just hearing it for the first time, this is the book, Recreate Your Word. So in case you're watching me, this is the book, Recreate Your your word by our man of God written by Pastor Chris Oyakilome. You can get this book on our online store. You can get in Love Word online store or you can send me a message. Say, Fina, I would like to have that book recreating your word. So I will send it to you. So message me and I will get back to you. Okay, so Pastor is saying here, recreate your word recreate your word and pastor is giving us you know how you can recreate your word okay, but recreate your word and how you can recreate your word so i will be taking the chapter one right now recreate your word pastor is saying here recreating your word means changing the circumstances of your life looking at your surrounding conditions and changing them to suit you taking yourself you know from a particular level to a particular level of life to another pastor is telling you taking yourself from a particular level of life to another say so that is how you create your world I read it again. Recreating your world means changing the circumstances of your life, looking at your surrounding conditions and changing them to suit you, taking yourself from a particular level of life to another. He said that is how you recreate your world. You take yourself from a particular level this level you are, you don't like it. So you take yourself from it to another level where you like. So you are recreating your world. So you shift from one level to another. So Pastor is taking his test right now from Acts chapter 1 verse 8. So let's see that Acts chapter 1 verse 8. In case you have your Bible, let's read the Bible. And he said, Jesus said, But ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and also unto the uttermost part of the world, of the earth. Some, some, some translations say of the world. So you see, Jesus is saying here, the first thing that you need to do to recreate your world, you need, you need to receive the power, the dunamis, the ability to recreate your world. Because without you don't have the ability, you cannot create your world. You cannot recreate your world. So people don't even know that they can recreate their world. You can recreate your aeon. You can recreate or reform your your word a your means in greek or your means your word your sphere of contact your environment your surrounding i will pastor say here he say you look he say your surrounding and condition maybe you don't like the way you are you don't like your condition right now he say you can recreate it you can recreate it to what you want or maybe you are born into this world and some circumstances surrounded 
you and all that, you grew up in that manner and you don't like it, but as I say, you can change it. You can recreate your world. So as we read down, you'll see how you can recreate your world. Very, very important. Pastor said, the first thing you do is to receive the dunamis, the power that can help, that can give you the ability to recreate your world. And if you're watching, you're not born again. At the end of this program, I will lead you to Christ. You will receive the Lord as your personal savior. So with them, you will know what we are talking about. And you now have the power and the ability to recreate your world. So when you receive this dunamis, when you receive this power, what do you do with it? Now you have a creative ability. That is the second one. The first one, recreate your world. How do you recreate your world? Get the... The, 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 the power of the Holy Spirit after you have received the power. So now you have the dunamis, the power to recreate your world. You have the ability to recreate your world. Second Peter chapter 1 from verse 2. 2 Peter 1, 2. And he said, Grace... And peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of our Lord Jesus Christ. In verse 3, say, according as his divine power has given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness, through the knowledge of him that had called us to glory and virtue. Oh, glory to God. See, according as his divine power had given unto us all things. He didn't say some things. He said all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue. So the suffering is unnecessary. The struggle through life is unnecessary because God has given you the power to cause changes. God has given you the ability to make things happen. So the struggling for life is unnecessary. It's uncalled for. The Bible says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So knowledge is coming to your way today. That you have the power, the ability to recreate your world and cause changes. Make that thing that you want to see, you can bring into being. You can call those things that be not. That is in Hebrews chapter 11 from verse 1. Call those things that be not as though they were. Those things that be not as though they were. So as we read on, you will see how you will bring them to being. How you will bring them to reality. Recreating your word with, with the word of God. Framing your young. Make those things that be not as though they were. Glory to God. So, Second Peter chapter 1 is what we are reading. Whereby are given unto us a seeding great and precious promise that by this ye might be partakers of the divine nature. Nature having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me let me continue to read. I read, read uh, you know, verse 5 now. And beside this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance, patient, and to patient, godliness. In verse 7, and to godliness, brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, charity, which is love. Verse 8, for if these things be in you and abound, they make you that ye shall never be barren 
neither unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. If this thing be in you, this knowledge we are talking about, the knowledge how to recreate your young, how to recreate your word and frame it and bring, and bring things that be not as though they were. In verse 9 said, in 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 9, it said, but he that lacketh these things is blind, like what I just said now. Lack of knowledge makes you not to know that you can change things. Lack of knowledge make you, makes you not to know that that situation you are, it is not normal. But because of you lack the wisdom, the knowledge, now you have normalized the situation. You have normalized the circumstances. Thinking is natural. Or that is how it should be. It is not. He said, if you lack those things, he said, the person is blind. And he cannot see afar off. He cannot see afar off. And he has forgotten that he was purged from his old sin. That you don't need to stay in bondage anymore. That Jesus has, has come to take you out of darkness and he has brought you into his marvelous light. Knowledge gives you this, you know, secret. Knowledge unveil this secret, this truth to you. That you are no longer in bondage anymore. That Jesus has brought you from darkness into light. Knowledge will unveil the truth to you. So let's visit the book again. Let's go back to uh, how to recreate your world written by our man of God. How to recreate your world. So let's go back again. I see some thoughts that pastor talked about here. How you recreate your world. How you recreate your world. Praise the Lord. And pastor talked about, he said, now, he said, this is the reason you can recreate your world. Because why? You have received ability. You have received dunamis. You have received the dunamis, which when you receive the Holy Ghost, you, you will endure with power. You will filled with power. So now you have the ability to cause changes. After you have received the Holy Ghost, now you have received power to cause changes. In your situation, you have received power to cause changes. In your working place, you have received power to cause changes. In your family, you have received power to cause changes. In your environment, in your finances, in everything that concerns you as a child of God. And Pastor, he says, hey, this is the reason you can recreate your world today. He said, if you, he said, if your word or spare of contact does not please you, or if you do not like the way things are around you, in your finances, in your home, pastor said, you can change it. He said, in fact, no one can do it for you except you. No one can change you, change things for you except you. Pastor, if things that are happening around you, or your spare of contact, your family, anything at all, you don't like it. Those things does not please you. Pastor said, you can change it. He said, no one can change it for you except you. You are the only one that can change it for yourself. Glory to God. You are the only one that can change that situation. Nobody can change it for you. You are the only one. And Pastor go on to say, in most part, in the most part of the world today, a lot of people know the Bible and its message on a number of subjects like prosperity, healing, 
and the Holy Spirit. But their problem lies with the application of the knowledge, of this knowledge in everyday life. See, they know the Bible know everything about prosperity. And pastor said, the application of this knowledge in everyday life, that is why you can see somebody who knows all the scripture on prosperity, not having a single cent in his pocket. He said, if you are born again, such should not be the case because God has made you to be a partaker of his divine nature. Means that you should never lack. People know about prosperity, but you see them, they are broke. What happened? They lack this knowledge. They lack the knowledge of recreating their world. Because they have received ability to cause changes, but they don't know how to apply it to their situation. Let's take something for example. Like somebody know, knows about uh, how to, how, how to um, do some business transaction, how to do some business transaction. And he's, he's giving ideas to other people how to do business transaction here and there. And the people are making it. But he does not know how to do the transaction for himself. He's not benefiting from that which he knows. Though he has the knowledge to give to other people, but he does not know how the knowledge to apply to himself. He lacked the dunamis, the power of transformation. He lacked the dunamis, the power to cause changes for himself. Oh, glory to God. So you must have this power. So after you have received the Holy Ghost, you have received dunamis. You have received power to cause changes, to make things happen, calling those things that be not as though they were. Praise the Lord. Wow, wow. So I would like us to go to the second, the next one, which is chapter 2. We'll go to chapter 2 now. Pastor is talking about your creativity, your creative ability. Creative ability. That you have a creative ability. Some people don't know that they have creative ability. And some know, but they don't know how to use it. So I'm here to tell you how to use it. So let's read. Let's read what Pastor is saying here. He said, God has put in you his creative ability. Your imag imagine imagination, your imagination power, he said, is your creative ability. Of all the creations of God, only man has creative ability. Pastor said, dog cannot imagine. Goat cannot imagine. No other beast can imagine. He said, even the angels cannot imagine. Man is the only one that God has given that imagination power. God has blessed you with the super, su, uh, special gift. God, sorry, I will take that again. Say, God has blessed you with a special gift of ima imagination power. Imagination power. God has given to man imagination power. You know, your imagination is so powerful. Do you know that? That your imagination is so 
powerful. Imaginative ability God has given to man. So pastor is taken from Genesis chapter 1 from verse 1. So let's read. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness covered the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. We can see what, what happened here when God was creating the world. Darkness cover the face of the of, of the of the deep of the water. Darkness. So I'm passing. to describe the situation that is you know the creation the, the creation of the world pastor said the best word to describe the situation of the world at this time he said is chaotic it was a chaotic situation the world was in a chaotic mess and God has to do something about it and that's what God wants us to do consigning our situation. It's no longer time for you to be crying every time. Oh God, why me? Oh God, come and save me. Oh God. But God has given us the creative ability, the power to cause changes. That is what God has given to man. Power to cause changes. And pastors, they say, when God saw this chaotic mess, but what did God do? We'll see what God, what God did. And that is what God wants us to do. When there's a situation approaching you, where there's circumstances that you don't like, what God did is what you need to do. We'll see that in a minute. Pastor go on to say, he said, that situation that you are facing, you have the creative ability to cause changes. You have the creative ability to cause changes here. He said, your home may be in a chaotic mess today. And your thoughts may have brought you chaotic condition. Maybe you have some challenges. Challenges in life may have brought you, you know, chaotic challenge challenges in life it may seem as though there is no end to your trouble pastor is telling us it may seem that there's no end to your trouble and this causes your heart to beat faster than normal he said here is what the bible said about how god recreate the world from a chaotic situation. Praise God. Your home may be in a chaotic situation today. Your thought may have brought this chaotic situation because your thought is a tool. It's powerful for you to know what you think. It's so powerful. Your thought is your life. So, your thought may have brought, you know, many things into your way. 
The pastor said, see what God did. So I want us to read it. That is in the book of Genesis. We are still in Genesis. And Genesis chapter 1 from verse 3. Let's see that. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Means that. God said, let there be light. Because in Genesis chapter uh, uh, chapter 1 from verse 2 we see and the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the water so God have already had that in him so what did he do he said let there be light because he won't light not darkness so God have to speak and change the situation so what you do today is for you to speak to that situation. He said, let there be light and there was light. Darkness could not struggle with that when God speak. Your word, that you, the word you speak from your mouth is the powerful tool to change your situation. To change the circumstances of your life. And in verse 4, and God saw the light that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. You have to separate yourself from that situation. He separated darkness from light. Darkness wanted to swallow God's plan, you know, for the earth, the beauty that God has imagined the world, how it will be. But God speak out, say, let there be, and there was light. And the Bible said, God saw that the light was good. And he separated the darkness. From, he separated the light from the darkness. So two of you cannot be together. Separate yourself from that situation. What is that chaotic situation that you are going through? Separate yourself. Move out of your comfort zone. Don't legalize your situation. Don't legalize that trouble. Don't legalize that poverty, that stagnancy. Don't legal. It's not normal. Don't normalize it. You no, know, so people have normalized their situation like it's normal. When you ask, they say it's normal. What will be, will be. What will be, will not be until you speak. We are still in Genesis. Let's take, uh, let's take from verse uh, nine. And God said, "Let the waters." under the heavens be gathered together unto one place and let the dry land appear and it was so prophesy to your future prophesy to things that you want them to be bring all those things that you desire frame them in your mind have the picture it's like you have a, a, a picture of yourself you put it in a frame what do you do you see it every day in the frame you are seeing that picture of what you want every day in the frame. You, ref you frame your word. What do you want to see? Who do you want to become? Who do you want your children to become? Frame it in your mind and begin to prophesy. Your mouth is so powerful. Don't use your mouth wrongly. Use your mouth wisely. Your mouth is a powerful tool that you can use to recreate your word. Like the man of God will always say that our mouth is not given to us, for us to be eating, eating and eating, eating meat pie and drink coke. <laughs> it's given to us for us to recreate our world, redirect your life. Is your life going this way? Bring it back. Recreate your world. What do you want to see yourself be in, 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 in 10 years time? What do you, where do you want to be? Recreate your word. I always say to myself, I'm a child of God. I'm born again. I'm full of the Holy Ghost. My life is for his glory. I'm upward and forward only. So people say, hey, by the grace of God, I don't know, you know. <laughs> you know, by recreating your word, having the ability of God, you know. There are some situations that you don't like. You say, you, you know, you tell, you tell yourself, I don't like the situation. I need it to be changed now. And you can change it with your word as you declare the word. The word is like a seed. You know, like the mango seed or like the orange seed. Your word is like a seed. 
you plant it and it germinates. So what do you plant? You plant the negative word, it will germinate for you. The man of God always says, hey, you become what you are today because of what you were saying yesterday. Say the right word. Say the right word to your children. Say the right word for yourself. To your environment. What do you want to see? Your word is so powerful. Your word can change anything. Your imagination power. Imagine the right thing. Don't imagine negative things. Sometimes some thoughts want to come to me. Do you think some thought does not come to you? Wrong thought. Yes, they do. Because you can't stop them. They fly everywhere. You don't allow those thoughts or those negative thoughts to perch in your head. To perch in your mind. Immediately they are coming. You start speaking in tongue. If a person is speaking in tongue. Or you start using the word of God. To chase them out. You replace them with paucity. You say I am prosperous. I am who God says I am. I have all things. All things are working together for my good. Kings are coming to my light. I have a good inheritance. All things are working together for my good. That office, I'm getting into it and I'm getting what I want. In the name of Jesus. Immediately you start declaring like this. All those negative thoughts will vanish. You replace them. That is how you recreate your world. With the word of prophecy. You prophesy to the things that you want, them, you want to see. Bring those things that be not as though they were. You have to see it with your imagination. You have to see it with the eyes of the spirit. You have to seal those things. First, frame them in your mind, in your spirit. Then start bringing them out. That's what happened in the creation. God has already seen the pictures of the world. He has already seen the beauty, the tree, the stars, the, the water and the birds. Everything has already seen the beauty of the creation. But situation came. But God did not leave the situation to, to continue. But what did God say? He said, no, this is not the picture I saw. So what happened? God started bringing out the picture he saw. He started putting them in place. Let there be light and there was. That's number one. That one is the dawn. Now he started separating them. Separate the darkness from the light. Now that's number two. It's already done. Then he started, he's recreating what he wants. He wants the water. He wants the trees. He started creating those things. Praise the Lord. The power of your, of, of, of positive, you know, desire. Pastor, the power of positive desire. What are your desires today? Your desires are so powerful. You have a powerful create, you know, creative ability. So put it to work today. Put it to work. Your imaginative power is your creative ability. Your imaginative power is your creative ability. As you imagine, picture what you want. Like for example, I can give you a testimony of myself. You know, I have... You know, God has given me this dream of Fina Talk years ago. I've imagined how Fina Talk will be. I pictured it the way I want Fina Talk to be. I see myself, you know, you know, ministering to people, having the talk show with different people, talking about it. I pictured it. Immediately God gave it to me. I grabbed it. Then I started framing it. And look at the framing today has come to life. I frame it. What you are seeing today is what I frame already. In my creative ability. I pictured it. How final talk is going. And my picture are still going. Are still going up. In the next uh, month, you will see final talk in another different level. This is what you do. Do you want to be a manager of that your company? Your creative ability. Picture and frame it. All things are possible unto you. Nothing is impossible. Okay, Romans chapter 8. So we read from verse 5. It says, For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. 
Okay? Don't mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. Verse 6 is where I'm really going. He said, to, for to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. He said, because the carnal mind is enmity against God. For it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. To be carnally minded. Absent minded, you are not paying attention to spiritual things. Say, so for to be carnally minded is dead. You know, some people are still they are living, they are living. I think so. They are just living, but they don't have life. When I was growing up, you can hear some uncles, aunties, and all that, you know, saying all those words to you. This one. Your life will not amount to anything. It will be useless. Your life will not amount to this one. This one, out of annoyance, they are saying all those things to you. What do you do now? You recreate your word. You reframe in your word. Those words, you trade, throw them away. You recreate your word. Now, now you prophesy to your life, to your word. By your words, now you are born again that you have received the dunamis, the power to recreate your word. Those things that auntie, uncle, have said whatsoever, or maybe mother, father, has gone. Because why? You reframe your word. You recreate your word. But some people still live all those things in their life and is operating in their life today. So how do you go about that? Recreating your word by prophesying to your life. Say, so my life is beautiful. I am who God says I am. I'm, I'm a success in life. I'm the head, I'm not the tail. My life is for his glory. I'm a billionaire. I'm a billionaire. I walk in abundance. I walk in prosperity. My life is beautiful. I'm a blessing to many. I'm telling you. So you recreate your word. You recreate your young. You reframe it. And that's uncle and auntie that will not be seeing you. Your life is looking beautiful. You are not the one giving to them, but they told you that you will not amount to anything. They told you that your life will be useless. This one, your life will be useless. We have I've already seen it. But now, now you are the one taking care of them. You are the one, they are even calling you, asking you, please, can I have some money? But they told you that your life was useless. So what did you do? You refrained your word. Calling those things that be not as though they were. Glory to God. So don't be carnally minded. Don't leave anything to chance. Don't leave anything to change. Anything coming to your way you don't like, use the word of God. Use your, the word of God. Reframe it. A man of God always tells you, if you dream, you know some people have the dream, they say, oh, I dream this kind of dream. Oh, they are frightened. They are afraid. Pastor say, throw, select, cream your dream. Cream it. Select those things that we are negative in the dream. Tell, cancel it. In the name of Jesus, I cancel that in the name of Jesus. Out. Cream your dream. You can cream your dream and tell your dream what you want to be dreaming about. Tell yourself what you want to be dreaming. You can cream your dream. Then take all those negative ones. Take them out. Then take the positive one. Glorify God with it. So don't stay with your oldness. Don't stay with, you know, the way you wear. Change your environment. Change your life. Change it. Don't normalize your life. Don't normalize this. Oh, this is my life. I can't change. You know, some people are like that. They can't change. They say, I cannot change my life. I cannot change. So they like that comfort zone. And that comfort zone has not given them anything for years. Mark 11, 23. Let's see what it talks about. Jesus is saying something here. It's a very, I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be cast into the sea, and he shall not doubt in his heart, but he shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass. 
He said, it shall have whatsoever he says. Declare what you want to see. Say you should not doubt, you know, frame your word with God's word. He said, you shall have whatsoever you say. You shall have whatsoever you say. So in case you are watching me, you are not born again. Or you will listen to this video later. Mean those words from your heart as you say after me. You can put your right hand in your chest, then lift the other one up as you declare those words of salvation. Praise the Lord. Say, O oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life. From this day, through him and his name, I have eternal life in my spirit. Glory to God. I'm born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, thank you, Father, for those ones that have confessed you as their Lord and personal Savior. Thank you, Father, because they have received your word. Father, I declare, oh God, today that their life, oh God, will be from glory to glory. That your, your plan for them will come to be in the name of Jesus. That they will cease from all struggle and stress in life. Their life will be stable and have direction by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I bless them with your word today. I bless them, O oh God, with your word. In the name of Jesus Christ, they will not struggle through life. And they will begin to see the result that is in your word. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, Father. I give you all the praise, O oh God. Thank you, Father, O oh God. I pray that the walk, O oh God, in the newness of your word. Newness of life. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Congratulations to you. Welcome to the family of God. You are welcome to the family of God where all things are possible. Glory to God. So con congratulations to you. So in case you say all those words with me, send me a message. Fina, I just gave my heart to the Lord. And I will send you a book now that you are born again to help you with your journey. Of, of your salvation to help you and to guide you and tell you what you should do and if you are in you know around um, this area which in Europe you can be able to go to church find a church that you can be able to go even in Africa in anywhere you are watching me from find a church nearby you and start going and fellowshipping with them glory be to God thank you so much my viewer for watching me today Thank you also for sharing my video and subscribing to my YouTube channel, Finato. Thank you so much for being a blessing, you know, uh, to, to my program. I appreciate so much. I received series of messages, you know, email from every one of you that have been watching Fina Talk. How the program has blessed you so much, you know, and you are sharing the videos all over the places. You know, I'm so blessed. Thank you so much. Until I come your way again. Bye-bye.